Thanks for watching the Dr. Gilmore page. Check out the link below for Meta 7. All right, you got Jenny as my assistant here today. You came in today as a new patient. You got a couple of bumps that you want to get addressed. One is on your neck right here. This is the right side of the neck. Another one on your left arm. And uh, we're going to take care of all these for you. Unfortunately, we don't have time today to do them both because the one on the arm is going to take longer, okay? Yes, so we're going to have to schedule you a little bit more time. We're right up on the, the lunch break here, and Jenny has volunteered some of her lunch time to help us take care of this for you. Jenny, thank you so much. You're very welcome. She's wonderful. I am too. What do you think of Quail's uh, little cyst here? I, uh, when I first walked in, I said, oh, I like that. You like that one, don't you? I'm, I'm going to have something good coming out of it, right? Something. Well, I don't know. I sure hope so. All right, so we use a little betadine. And we've got a very teeny, we've got the world's smallest needle here, so we can make our injection. I need a 4x4, four four, please. Okay. And uh, Jenny is going to go ahead and she's going to spray some cold spray right there. Go ahead, Ready? Jenny. One, two, and three. There it is. And he's going to feel what, Jenny? That's good. A stick is digging a bar. There we go. Right, here it comes. Did today. Yeah, you did. You did a fine job. So we're just injecting the, the anesthetic, and you're going to feel a little stinging as it goes in. Did you feel a sting? Mm -hmm. You did, didn't you? Okay. A little sting right there. That's all good. I asked him what he did for a living. He said he was an exterminator. I said, so you work for the mob, huh? He said, well, uh, couldn't really tell me any more than that. All right, my friend. So we're going to stop and wait about two minutes and let that anesthesia work. All right, we're back now. We've let the anesthesia do its job. Any last questions, Mr. Quail? I don't think so. And you said you were okay if we videoed your procedure for our friends on YouTube? Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna make a little incision here. We're gonna use a what size blade, Jenny? 15. This is a 15 blade. We like using a 15 on these, especially when they're small. You feeling any pain, buddy? No, sir. Oh, Jenny, you didn't get the one that caused pain. What's the matter with you? <sighs> Because I like him. Because he's a is nice guy. Time. Yes, sir. All right. Let me have that uh, curved hemostat. Don't, don't. Yeah, that's fine. The curved hemostat right curved there. Curved hemostat is right that's here. It. All right. That's it. There we go. Oh, I told you. We're going to get something out. Yeah. Yes, yes. We definitely are. This is a pretty interesting looking cyst you got here, my friend. Sorry, audience, if I get a little too excited, but I love these stuffs. She yes. does. Here we go. So there's our cyst. Look at that beautiful cyst, Jenny. I can see it really well on the camera, too. Yeah. Yes. You're going to be angle. amazed at oh. how good this little beautiful cyst looks. Oh, wow. Looks like one of those little baby uh, onions. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, the par onion. Yeah. You want to see it, my friend? Yes. You might miss it. Uh -huh. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Let's show everybody on the camera again. Right there. There you go. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze it. Can you see okay, Jenny, on the yes, camera? Yes, it's beautiful. You can mm -hmm. see, and if we squeeze it right okay. here, the, the stuff inside comes on out. Oh, so we got the whole sack. I'm going to hand that back off to you. Yes, sir. So we got the whole thing out, my friend. So you're going to get a couple little stitches here. And you're going to be finished for today. All right. Peel up on the stitches and the uh, needle driver, please. Needle driver. Needle driver. Ooh, I got the gold handled ones. Yes, sir. Looks like I'm moving up in the world. We do a little special today, Mr. Crow. He seems like a pretty nice fellow. Yes. You like to fish? Yes. What do you fish for? Uh, fresh and salt water. Ah, what's your salt water fish of choice if you can get one? Drum them red. Really? See, now, I think it's fun to catch a drum, and I only catch and release anyway. But they're not good to eat, right? The big ones? You can't really eat yeah, them. Not the, not the big ones. Because, I mean, they're wormy, yeah. right? I was surprised the first time I saw a big drum and watched somebody cut that thing open. It was like, oh, my goodness, this thing is full of worms. <laughs> but the redfish are still good. For some reason, I guess the species are enough different where it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I, I, out of drums I've caught, I've, uh, I haven't never caught one with worms. Anymore. Really? Well, what do you know? Seems like everybody's experience is a little bit different. Jenny, are you ready to give me a little cut right yes, there? Yes, sir. Right, right there. Good. A little dab. A little dab will do. And we'll put another stitch in here. 
It's looking good already. Looking really good. Very small incisions, all we needed. Nice and straight, lined all up. Yes. However, if anybody asks you what happened, you can always say, I took out like six guys. Uh -huh. well, you got into a big knife fight. Of course, all they had was a, a pen knife. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sure those days are over, right, uh, Mr. Quell? Yes, ma'am. He seems like a nice fellow. He but, doesn't seem like the kind of guy. For it. Let's give a little cut right there, Jenny. Okay. I think two stitches is going to be all I need. I think needs. so. Yeah, let me dab real quick so you can look. Here we go. Oh, I think that's perfect. You put a little dressing on that for yes, me? Yes, sir. Mr. Quail, you're an awesome patient. That was a beautiful sister. I really want to thank you for letting me take that out on camera. Now, you've got the one on the forearm, and I promise you we will get you a... Get you that one taken care of as well, okay? So hey, my name is Melissa and I've been taking Meta7 for about three months now. Um, I'm really loving this product. Uh, it's definitely helped me steer off caffeine and energy drinks. It's definitely giving me that little boost so I can go ahead and start my day. My goal is to keep, keep continuing to take this product uh, so hopefully we'll see in the next three more months how it goes, but definitely recommend it. You can definitely go on Amazon and look it up and check it out. It's great. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below. Hi, my name's Liam, and I just want to do a review for uh, Coco Skin Plus. I've been on it for about two and a half months now. Um, I do recommend it. It has given me, I don't know if you want to zoom in, my nails have definitely gotten stronger um, and my hair. I did bleach my hair uh, last year. Um, don't ever bleach your hair. It will kill your hair. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. And um, it's a 90 day supply. Uh, it took about, I wasn't seeing anything really until a month, a month and a half in to really notice uh, changes, but it's been doing great. I love it.